so this is quite something. At first, all civilian mission. It's going to be two to four days in space. It's a Mercury era style trip in orbit uh, around the Earth. Um, I'm not going to ask you why SpaceX, because I know you're a fanboy, uh, self-proclaimed fanboy, but I am going to ask why you're doing it this way. Yeah, so um, I think that Inspiration4 is an uh, is incredibly exciting mission. Um, it's the first step to, in a world where every bit, everyday people can go and, uh, and journey among the stars. Um, and, and, and recognizing kind of the, the significance of that first step, we tried to be like really incredibly thoughtful as to the crew selection process, the individuals who are representing this mission, uh, the organizations that stand to benefit like St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, which will be you know, the largest fundraising uh, and awareness campaign in their 59-year history, but also uh, Ship 4 Payments as well, playing a, con a very key role in the, uh, the entrepreneur selection process, which is how we'll identify one of the, uh, one of the crew members on this mission. Yeah, I mean, you hold wor world records for, for some of your flying. You certainly have, uh, I think, thousands of hours under your belt a as a pilot. Um, to basically do this all civilian, I mean, we've seen other examples of so-called space tourism and people going to orbit, but every time until now, there has been uh, an experienced astronaut on board. The fact that you're going about it this way, what's involved in the training, and how are you thinking about it from a safety perspective? Yeah, so I'm, I'm incredibly confident uh, in the product and technology that they have pioneered here at, at SpaceX. I mean, this is an organization with amazing foresight. I mean, you know, 20 years ago to, to set out as a commercial entity and try and revolutionize space technology, pretty amazing undertaking. And I mean, just look what they've accomplished. I mean, they land rockets uh, on ships in the middle of the ocean. I mean, that's super impressive. Not to mention the, the, the Falcon 9 and the Dragon uh, spacecraft that I'll be riding on you know, uh, first uh, human-rated vehicle uh, in the United States um, since the space shuttle was retired. Now, that's NASA going through, you know, 60 years of lessons learned uh, to put uh, SpaceX through their certification process. So uh, completely confident. I, I've had, you know, total exposure to the, um, uh, the training curriculum that we'll be undertaking throughout this year. Uh, I am very confident we'll be well prepared for this mission um, later in 2021. Yeah, you're donating the other three seats. I think one's going to be dedicated to a, a frontline health care worker. The other two are going to be uh, basically given to folks through these competitions uh, that you've put in place. I think you're even running a Super Bowl ad as well. Um, at a time where, and I brought this up on the conference call last night, but at a time where we're very focused, certainly here at CNBC, on this whole discussion around democratization of markets, you could say that this mission is in some ways a push towards democratization of space. How are you going to pick uh, those, those people that are going to fly with you and what's going to be involved, I guess, in their training? Yeah, so that's such a great question. I mean, that's like the most exciting part about Inspiration4, and it's right there in the name, is that, you know, we aim to inspire the world as to certainly what's possible up there, you know, among the stars, but, but definitely what can be accomplished down here on Earth. And that's why we're so focused on this crew selection process um, and picking, you know, everyday people, all very special in their own right, who, again, are, are walking around today and, and probably don't realize, you know, 30 days from now they're going to get fitted for a, a spacesuit. So, um, the crew members are supposed to represent all of um, what we think are great attributes of humanity, mission yeah. pillars. So we have hope, uh, which is a frontline healthcare worker. We have generosity, which is, hey, anyone can go and donate on our mission website, yeah. Inspiration4. It's to a great cause. You might be uh, an astronaut in 30 days. And of course, the entrepreneur contest is part of Ship 4 Shop. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.